Hello folks, thanks for joining me. Uh, just thought I'd give you an update. Uh, as you know, the the retail magazines on this rifle are pretty much shit. Uh, not very consistent, they cause accuracy problems. Temperaments and, and parts break off them. Uh, you know that from what I've had with this rifle, it's been pretty much a dog since I've had it. Uh, and I've been trying to sort it out. Well, I'm getting there. Uh, first, I did the Robert Lane regulator, uh, so I sort the regulator out, thanks to Robert Lane. Uh, now, after that, I actually, I actually put feelers out to a couple of people, but uh, the one that actually came back to me was. Uh, What's the name? Uh, Delco Delorco, who runs the Calm uh, Airgun Magazine business in Croatia. And in, a lot of you would have heard of him because uh, he's pretty outstanding at doing his uh, 3D printed magazines for all kinds of rifles. And um, what I did, I sent him uh, one of the retail magazines that broke on me and I tried fixing it and I thought, well, it's, it's, it's crap as it stands, I'll send it to him, see if he can make anything of it, and uh, <laughs> uh, he did do, he got back to me, uh, and he's uh, sent him in a post and they arrived later on this afternoon, and these are the two magazines he sent, I've got a single shot loader, really nice single shot loader, these are both in 177, so I'm sure if you need it 2 or 2 fight you could do that. So that's a single shot loader, and then it's caught with a new design magazine. Now what makes this one better than others is, uh, <laughs> for a start it looks a lot better made. And another thing on it, uh, is that on your final shot, it, uh, it, won't, it won't feed anymore because it, it comes up against the plastic and it stops the rifle from going forward so you, you know you've fired all your shots. So that's an 11 shot uh, 177 magazine. Now that's sorted the magazine out so all I need to do now is sort the barrel out. Uh, it's just down to cost at the moment, being able to afford it because uh, you go for a lathe of wall for barrel, you're talking from chambers for a polygonal barrel, it's probably around 123.50 for the barrel alone. By the time it gets sent back to the local rifle uh, dealership, they might charge me 20 quid just for accepting it and then booking it in. So that's adding another 20 quid on it, and then I've got to pay Cliff to actually do the work for me, which I don't mind because uh, he does a good job. So I've, got, I've then got Cliff to engineer it, so I'm probably going to need about 200 plus pounds to get the rifle barrel sorted out. But at least when the barrel's sorted out, it should be shooting okay from what I've seen. Because in the meantime, I've been watching some... I've been trying to research it anyway. Retail, you can't find it, uh, anything about it whatsoever. All I know is retail is a shotgun manufacturer and firearm manufacturer. And I think what they've done, they've, they've took on uh, PCPs just to see if they were, it would work for them. But the way they've built this, it won't if they don't sort the... Uh, the problems are. Uh, retail's been around a while. They've been doing brake barrels and under lever rifles, and they've also done blank pistols, believe it or not. So uh, they are they are a firearm shotgun manufacturer. But uh, I've been trying to research because you you'll see the pissed off rifle exactly the same sort of uh, rifle as this, <coughs> and they've had all the same issues with the uh, only being one grub screw in the barrel fixture thing instead of two. Well, I think they must have run out of bloody grub screws. A shorter barrel. <clears throat> and with this one, a, a regulator didn't work a, a, even. Uh, apart from that, it looks great. But it needs to perform at the end of the day. So, while searching the internet, uh, I did come off across a, a few people in the US that have actually had the pissed off. Uh, like I say, with the same sort of problems, but then I found a new company coming out that was called Catman Guns. 
Now these are a fantastic company looking at it. They've took this project on. Uh, I think the father or grandfather of the family has gone over to Turkey and he's uh, worked alongside the Turks in the manufacturing side of it to improve on what the rifle should have been. Uh, so uh, they've got longer barrels and they seem to have sorted the issues out. Uh, and another good thing, they're a military family so they do support the veterans in, in the US. Uh, forget the, I forget the, uh, the charity now, but they support the veterans. Every sale they do, they donate 10% to the veterans charity, which is fantastic. And I can understand them doing it because being a former paratrooper myself, I, I, I'm part of the charity for the airborne forces and special forces as well because I've done that. But uh, I can totally understand why they're doing what they're doing. But what I'm really pleased about is they've solved the problems. And some of the YouTubers now, uh, not very big YouTubers at the moment. Now, there's a chap that runs the M&B Airgun Review. Good bloke, he likes his tactical stuff. He calls a spade a spade. If he's got a problem, he'll, he'll tell you about it. Well, he's collaborating now with uh, Cattleman Airguns and uh, he's received the final product. It only came out the other day because they've been waiting at customs clearing from Turkey. Uh, but uh, from what he said today, he's had really good accurate results with this at 75 yards. Obviously they're full power, the FAC as we call them over here, you need a firearms ticket, certificate here. Uh, but uh, from what Cattlemen have told him, uh, I think the 22s and the 25s are shooting around 800 feet per second but uh, they are working on the internals now, like bigger hammer springs, probably bigger transport ports, I don't know. But they say they can achieve 12 to 1300 feet per second, so uh, if you can get slugs for them, I'm sure that will be good. Uh, so that's M and B Air Gun Review. Uh, there's another new uh, reviewer out there called Maccabee Speed. Uh, now, he's been uh, testing out quite a few accents actually. Uh, got the fully automatic one which unfortunately we can't have in the UK and we can't even have semi-autos really uh, <clears throat> unless it's self-cycling uh, but yeah he, he's been doing that and I think he's partnered with uh, Cattleman Guns now to do a review so you should get some out from him and another one is called Bull, Bullfrog Air Guns so if you look at m and Air Gun Review Maccabee Speed and Bullfrog air guns on YouTube and you've got a, a pissed off or a retay or interested in one of these but one that works check out those uh, three YouTubers and also check out Cattleman air guns they, they come out in all kinds of fancy stocks uh, different colours look great yeah so the choice is yours, and I think at the moment, if you're in the US, they've got some offers on, so you'll get you'll get quite a big discount if you buy one. Uh, so hopefully over the next couple of days, uh, M&B will do his uh, field review, so we can all see the accuracy and how it performs. But uh, going back to this one, I'm almost learn learning that. I've got magazines that work, I've got a regulator that works, so I just need to sort the barrel out. If I lived in the US, I'd buy, I'd buy one of their barrels, but uh, we'll probably have problems with customs over here doing it. We probably need to go for a registered firearms deal. I don't know how, they, how it works. Uh, but there we go. So uh, I'll show you now how to load these. But uh, another thing to check out will be uh, Delco Delorco at carmagazines.com. Because uh, once these have been tested through the rifle and everything seems okay, I'm sure it'll be putting them out and you can buy some of your own. And if you live in the US, it, it sells all around the world as well. So obviously mine's a 177, I don't think they do that in the US. I think they just do 22 and uh, 25, but uh, I'm sure it'll be able to uh, sort some magazines out like this, but just in a bigger calibre. 
So uh, let's get on with the uh, review. Hello folks, uh, these are the two magazines that uh, Delco sent me from the Calm Magazine uh, 3D printing company. Uh, one on the left is the 11 shot multi shot, but the great thing is done about this one is design it like uh, what you'd get with say the Crowl rifles, so on your last shot you've got a blank piece of plastic so you can't uh, feed the probe forward so there's no chance of uh, firing any uh, dead shots basically uh, and the other thing he came up with was a single shot loader which is fantastic just slides out put your pellet in shove it up ready to go now I've tried them both in the rifle and they both work perfectly from what I can see so on the multi shot just a matter of feeding the pellets in uh, you probably saw on a preview that uh, when you wind the magazine up not to let it go and force it back because it, it could break so basically all you need to do is hold it and feed the pellets in like I'm doing now and then uh, when you get to the 11th shot you can put it in the all load from this side oh really got it in the wrong way but uh, it seems a lot better made than the original uh, magazines and it's unbelievable how I sent them the uh, the magazines and he basically designed these and had them made the day later so that's the magazine complete really well made got an o-ring on it look now you'll see a cutout on this side and that's because the barrel comes into the breech area by a few millimeters so that slides in from the left hand side so got the rifle like this it slides in from the left whereas a single shot loader that slides in from the right hand side so you slide it in that way like that so uh, I'll load the rifle up and we'll uh, we'll go through it see how they cycle uh, and I'll probably do some uh, some accuracy shooting tomorrow just to make sure they're feeding okay and shooting at targets but uh, I really won't get the, the true uh, accuracy until I take the actual uh, moderator off so it's uh, coming straight out of the barrel so I know that's not causing any problems because uh, there is basically an attachment that goes between the barrel and the end of the shroud which uh, that could create problems all on its own but the other two uh, magazines really want to thank you Delco for doing this uh, I'm sure you'll have a lot of people wanting these because uh, the original magazines are crap basically <laughs> they fall apart they break but these seem to uh, cycle okay uh, if you've got a 2.2 .2 or a 2.5, I don't suppose it would be any different to this apart from the diameter of the bore. So if you did want those, it could make those as well. So uh, I'll fire these uh, through the rifle to see how it's uh, cycling. So that'll be the next stage. Well, I've loaded it with the uh, air arms if you're looking at that. So the next stage, let's. Uh, fire some shots off okay then I'll put the uh, magazine 
and as I say designed to come in from the uh, right hand side lined up really well safe to catch off And what makes these uh, easier to lay is the fact they come out and you can push them in from the side rather than fiddling around in the breach. Anything that's buggering me up is these. Uh, <laughs> Knobs on the scope getting in the way. It's easier if they're on the other side, to be honest. But uh, never mind. Uh, yeah much better if you want a single shot loader now which they don't come with as standard now you've got a supplier and I know it's not a long way but it, it's all grouping through the same hole so uh, <clears throat> pull back on the cock and handle safety on just push it from the left and we're done so then, in this case, the actual motor shot loads from the left hand side. So we're loading me. Alright, now we'll see what uh, what we can get on uh, motor shot. Safe to catch, that would help. set use them all up because it won't go forward so push it back out fan bloody tastic so I've now got and everybody's got the option now to get a multi shot magazine and a single shot loader that actually worked through the rifle this cycle really nice can't see I'm gonna get any problems with accuracy uh but there we go thanks delco can't believe he's done this in a day uh i mean the post the postage took about six days each way but i know for a fact he told me when he'd received it and the next day he posted the photo showing me the result uh and that was just my, by me sending me my old multi-shot magazine and looking at it, it's designed in very similar, but obviously these are more consistent and they're built better. Uh, really good. Uh, yeah, love it. So there we go. Single shot and uh, 
multi-shot magazines. Uh, so the next test I'll do with these will be at longer range and what I've got with me here is uh, the insert just to show you this is the extension that goes between the barrel end and the end of the shroud so this all on its own could create accuracy problems could get vortex and whatever so I don't know if you can get that all on screen but imagine that's where it's at so the barrel stops there which is ridiculous why the hell didn't you put a proper barrel on so there we go so uh, thanks for watching uh, look at, at the websites I told you about earlier some really good new YouTubers that's not been around for long if you want to find out anything about the Cattleman air rifles you can uh, watch their up and coming uh, reviews uh, but from what I can see Cattleman have actually succeeded in what I'm trying to do at the moment with the Rite obviously the Rite is a lot like the Pistols, you've got a shorter barrel got crappy magazines that, that aren't uh, very reliable, they break and everything uh, even the regulator in this was crap, it didn't work so uh, at least I'm getting there, so the final thing for me will be, be the barrel now so uh, big thanks to Robert Lane for producing a regulator for this that works okay he also uh, I never didn't ask him for this so big thanks again to Rob Lane he gave, gave me a a new basically fuel gauge manometer as he said it, it's, it was better than the one I had uh, more consistent so that's fitted on here but uh, if you want to upgrade a retail or a pissed off if you live in the US, I'd go to Cattleman Guns and they'll sort you out. I'm sure they will get you what you need or, or buy a new one off them. Uh, in this country, uh, it looks like we're on our own at the moment. So uh, you're going to have to first get a decent barrel. If it's not accurate, I mean, you might your rifle might be accurate. I might, I might have got a dog of a gun. Uh, see if your regulator works if you don't you know that Robert Lane can sort you out with a regulator so all I need to do now is sort myself out a barrel now uh, I didn't know whether to get uh, Lothar Wolf's a polygonal barrel or uh, an Air Arms CZ barrel off the S200 because I've got the Mark 1 S200 I took that off tried it for length and the length of it's okay it would be okay just need uh, to shave a bit off of the uh, barrel to make it fit inside there but the the one i've got is the mark one and i think their barrels are a bit bigger anyway thicker i think they're about 15 mil and the, the newer barrels about 14 mil diameter so i don't know but i will i will sort of barrel that as soon as i can and uh, bring you the updates now as far as uh, cattlemen, they probably get their barrels from the manufacturer. I don't, I don't know what barrels they're using, whether they're using the well-known Lothar Wolfer or if they're getting the Turkish barrels because if you look at uh, Hatson and Crowell, their barrels are very accurate. There's nothing wrong with them. They're made in house and I think they're all hammer forged. So don't get put off if it's a Turkish barrel because uh, if you look at Kral and stuff they're, they're pinpoint uh, so thanks for watching and in the next part of the test uh, I'll be doing some longer range shots but unfortunately what I'll have to do is do it at the range because what I'll do is take off the shroud and take off the insert so you can actually see what the barrel's like, the fast, I don't know if I can do it with it, I might be able to actually, yes, so that is the barrel, so I can't really do it at home because it's so loud, the neighbours will come out, see this and think I've got a friggin assault rifle,
but that is the barrel. Why on earth didn't they bring it to the end of the A2 bar? We'll never know. Uh, I mean, that basically screwed on like that. Why? It just don't make sense, does it? They must have had a selection of pistol barrels that they uh, needed to use up. That's all I can think of. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.